He spits, man. He spits two balls. You know what I'm saying? Coming from West Philly. I got one EP out. Um, it's called Either Way. It's worldwide. I dropped Came to Get It On. Then behind Came to Get It On, I dropped Grand Slam. Then behind Grand Slam, I drop I fucking hate rappers. <laughs> and then behind that, I drop uh, Indie by Choice. No, I'm my fault. Behind that, I drop Wrecking Time. Then behind that, I drop Indie by Choice. And then um, what was the other joint I dropped? Uh, New Wave of Philly. So that's all my. Uh, that's they was they was all mixtapes. You know what I'm saying? The first two. Uh, Came to get it on in Grand Slam. They was hosted by DJ No Frill. Shout out to him. Dreamy. That's that's my uh, hit single, which is going to be on my uh, new project I'm about to drop, which is coming out in April. Um, the new project called Perfect Timing. They say real friends remain. Well, a lot of people switched up. I'm right where I picked up. I swear I never give up. You know what I mean? Basically, real people, they supposed to remain around. Your real friends, they supposed to remain around. You know what I'm saying? But despite us splitting up, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing stopping. I'm gonna still keep grinding. You know what I'm saying? Every time I think about it, shit, the more I feel the shame. When you up, they come around. But when you down, niggas change. You know what I'm saying? When you up, they come around, but when you down, that's real. You know what I'm saying? When you got it, everybody around. You know what I'm saying? Everybody want a piece of the pie. I used to hang around a lot of cats, you know what I'm saying? Like, I had a whole squad of niggas with me, you know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, I used to be the one, you know, weed smoker, you know, had a bread, you know what I'm saying? Front, front the moves, you know what I'm saying? So it was like, um, Everybody used to be around me, man, and never contribute nothing, you know what I'm saying? Just only in it for what they could get out of it, pretty much. 24, I'm on my grind. A spits gonna shine. Nigga stabbed me in my back. Shit, I seen too many times. 24, I'm gonna grind, you know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna stop grinding. Ain't nothing gonna change about me. I'm gonna keep grinding. Ain't nothing gonna change about that. I'm gonna break it down in whole. Like, not, I'm gonna not go in too deep into it. But like the niggas I used to run with, after they separated or they chose to split parts, they basically went around and tried to bad mouth me, you know what I'm saying? Like put dirt on my name in the streets, you know what I'm saying? And it even became a point to, if you fucking with me, you can't fuck with them, you know what I'm saying? Like, or if you fucking with them, you know what I'm saying? You can't fuck with me. So it like, a lot of people, from us rocking together, a lot of the people that we met and was coming across that viewed us all as like a family, it like put them in the whirlwind to like, they don't know which side to choose, you know what I'm saying? And it, and that's where the, it, it got real deep at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? Um, the fact that I say niggas stab me in my back shit I seen too many times because my thing is this, when you do, when you a family and like, even though we split ways, I ain't go out in the streets and like bad talk nobody, you know what I'm saying? If somebody was to ask me about them, I'd just be like, we not rocking together no more, you know what I'm saying? I never had nothing bad to say versus the other sides, like people was really out here putting dirt on my name, you know what I'm saying? Just basically trying to defy my character and make me seem like a different person than what I really am, you know what I mean? And that was their way of trying to persuade people to like choose sides, you know what I'm saying? So that's the whole thing in that, you know what I mean? Stare a person in their face, look them dead in their eyes, your own man to be, oh, yo, I said your own man to be jealous, shake your hand in disguise. You know what I'm saying? Like that's real, like, and I say that because I had, I actually had one of the cats that was in the same group that I'm talking about, who was always jealous of the fact that I was the like front runner of everything, not by choice, you know what I'm saying? Just the fact of me grinding 
and people seeing my grind and just putting me like first out of everybody. And it used to bother him. We used to fall out, you know what I'm saying? Not because of me though. And he'll come back around, we'll squash it. Used to kick it with these niggas, used to give them rides through the midst of the truth, separate the lies. Picture me falling off, shit, I'm sitting high. I thank God where I'm at, shit, I'm getting by. You know what I'm saying? Basically, like I said, when people like separate, you know what I mean? You try and persuade other people to, you know what I mean? Choose a side, but it's like, instead of keeping it real, you out there telling lies about me, you know what I'm saying? Like telling people stuff that's not really real, you know what I mean? So it's like, I can't indulge in all that, you know what I mean? I just keep my head to God at the end of the day. I, I ain't fall off, I never fell off from day one, you know what I'm saying? I've been grinding since day one, and I'm gonna continue to grind. So, like I said, everything go to God at the end of the day, because that's the man in charge of everything, you know what I'm saying? So, that's pretty much the explanatory of everything right there. Yo, man, you rocking with Ace Spitz, T-R-U, B-O-S-S, -S, True Boss, man, West Philly. You know what I'm saying? All the bars matter, man. Shout out to the gang, man. You already know I'll be rocking.